Hello guys and happy Saturday. What a week it's been and this morning alone I'm grateful to be alive. This morning I drove through what appeared to be the rainfall of Niagara Falls hitting very forcefully and um, for a very long period of time while I was driving this morning before six o'clock and it was still kind of dark and I couldn't see the road couldn't see the cars around me could not see if there was a ditch <laughs> or a driveway to even turn into I mean it was very nerve-wracking and <laughs> yay I made it through <laughs> so today I am trying a wine that I had never heard of even uh, that one of my co-workers told me about his name was Todd and he actually said to go to total wine they had a good sale on it I thought why not and it's a cab from Napa and you can't go wrong with a cab from Napa and it's a 2020 the vineyard is CNA McMinn I don't know if that's how you say it for sure and um, I've kind of looked this over a little bit to see that it is 14.6% alcohol. And uh, that's that's good. And that's always good. Okay. Now my hair is a mess. So we won't be judging the wine by what my hair looks like. <laughs> so this is the butamous color. You see this, right? It's a very dark dark <laughs> dark wine um, with a little raspberry ridge there and let's dig right in I'm getting oak straight up oak right from the nose I mean hits in the face kind of oak but that's not a bad thing okay let's swirl it very nice I have a sore right here on my neck <laughs> Anyway, I scratched it and made it worse. So let's swirl yeah, about six times or so. And <sighs> very nice cabby. Very nice cabby aroma. Um, berry, obviously berry, cherry, um, but that tobacco kind of hidden in there somewhere because the oak is so strong and um, it's up front so hard to resist the oak let's see hmm the legs are there kind of dragging a little bit but um, they're there you can kind of sort of see you know it's kind of muggy out here already and can't see can't see my glass so let's just try it let's go for it mm. Mm. see me make a face don't don't think I'm judging it's just very stringently bright and very fruit forward and you know it's a cab that's what cabs do they tell you they're a cab <laughs> and there's that kind of a, almost a sweetness on the finish uh, on the back of my tongue there so yeah it's a cab all right um, very 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 heavy oak <laughs> and um, I'm not sure if it's French oak I didn't look at that but it doesn't seem to be might be a newer oak I don't I, I, it's hard for me to tell if it's new oak because it's just oaky okay let's just let's just it's oak not a very long finish not um something that sticks around for a while there's a little bit of a finish and it's a berry-ish raspberry um not a lot of depth not a lot of uh complexity 
it's a blended experience. It's like there's a grape and that grape is saying, I am a cab and <laughs> it's not really saying anything else. It's really not saying anything else to me. Um, it's not extremely tannic at all. Actually, it's not very tannic. It's more, the stringency in the, in the beginning of it is more from the oak than um, the nuances or the flavors and what I'm tasting out of the actual wine itself. So that's kind of hard to say. Um, I'm not getting as much tobacco as I thought I would. Uh, it's probably there. But like I keep saying and repeating over and over again, it's oak, 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 oak. Which makes me wonder, what would this grape taste like had it not been in the oak barrel that it's in? And how, how much was it toasted? And it does not actually say on the bottle. So I'm going to have to do some research. I'm curious now. Since the oak is so overwhelming on this hard to tell um, hmm. it's nice pleasant drinking it's um probably something I would eat pizza with <laughs> um, not necessarily a wine that I would drink on its own. And I love wines that I love to drink on their own. They deserve that because they're exceptional. So I'm really not downplaying this wine. It's a really good wine. I'm glad I got it on a um, really good sale uh, because you know I will pay high bucks for really, really, really good wine. Wine that I like fall in love with and like can't get it out of my head this is not one of those wines um it's not and it's not like i'm saying something bad about it it's just my my taste you know the profile of the wines that i prefer is not the same that that you would like or anyone else so um i think this one is worth a try i think that um if i were having a meal something that were um would be strong um, tomato-y maybe and it would help bring out something in, in here the acid in, um, in tomato might cut some of the oak that's going on I'm sorry <laughs> it's just so oaky anyway <laughs> Really, it's not bad, y'all. I swear, it's just I've been drinking some really fucking awesome wine lately. And sometimes it's really hard to go back to just like a basic. To me, I consider this very basic without the complexity. It doesn't have a, anything to evolve because it just, like I said, it just shows you right up front from the first sip what it is. It's a fucking cab. You know what I'm saying? It tastes like a fucking cab. And it's a good cab. So... If I had to give it any, you know, recommendations, I'd say if you're not an avid wine drinker and you're not like a wine snob, you don't sit there and, you know, look into depth of what your your cabs and uh, if you're not that picky, this is great. It's perfect. I probably wouldn't buy it again. Not for the price point. Just because it's it's not me. It's not me. I'm not in love with it. There are better wines that are more of a value price than this that I'd be more than happy to buy. So, um, this is this my first, like, meh, wine review? <laughs> Usually, really, really like a lot of wines, but it could be that I've been drinking all my amazing Dow. Uh, library wines and um, they've been fantastic and that's hard to beat so anyway still just tasting oak yep all right guys it's still Friday it's a glorious 
glorious day because it's not raining right now like it was this morning and I'm happy to be alive and I'm happy to be tasting wine whether amazing or good wine you guys have a fabulous weekend uh, bye bye